Hey everybody, Kiara here and I am here to react to the new Nintendo Direct that came out on the 18th, I believe. Um, I am doing this a bit late because work has been taking up most of my time, but yeah, I'm recording this the day just after it came out. I've never seen this before. So, I'm excited to see what new games there are. I do remember on their social media, Nintendo did say that this Direct will not have anything mentioning Nintendo 2 or the, the Switch 2 or whatever you guys call it. It won't have anything mentioning that. It's just talking about the games for the rest of 2024. So, I think let's get right into it. I'm excited for this. Okay, Mario. Oh, that's a new style I've never seen before. <laughs> Typical Luigi. Classic cartoon style. You you uh, don't fall off the cliff right away. You have to wait like a, for a full two seconds. Mario and Luigi. I have played a Mario and Luigi game. Is this a remake or is this a new one? I've never seen this one before. But I feel like it's a remake because games don't look like this um, as in right now. It'd be great if there was a way to get you back home. You two are going to launch yourselves into parts unknown. Yep, they sure are. Full extension. Okay, teamwork. This game looks fun. It looks cute. He reminds me of a Kirby enemy for some reason. What's that gorilla from Kirby called? You guys know which one I'm thinking of, right? It's like a giant gorilla. I hope we get a Kirby announcement. I feel like it's been a long time since I've seen Kirby. These characters are all new, besides Bowser. Um, and of course Mario, Luigi, and Peach. But like all these enemies? Mario and Luigi. Brothership. November 7th. Oh, okay. Um, I need to write that down. Hello, everyone. That's a game I'm going to play. For sure. Your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. That was the first new entry in the Mario and Luigi series in almost nine years. Mario and Luigi Brothership. Please look forward to a seafaring adventure that unfolds across mysterious islands, as well as evolved Bros moves with Mario and Luigi. So this isn't a remake? Okay, let's see the first I forget what he said. I, I didn't hear what he said. Did he say it was a remake or did he not? I don't I don't think it's a remake, so it's a completely new new uh, installment in the Mario and Luigi series. Mush Zoom 2, Shivery Start, Meta Knight Sword Fight. I've never heard of these before. I'm very new school, you guys. Very new school. Okay, so these are like speedrunners. I think these are meant for like if you like to speedrun games. Huh, that's so interesting. It even comes with tips and tricks. Survival mode? Cool. I could see people like really getting into this. I'm not gonna be one of those people, um, because I don't really play... What's it called? 
like the that kind of stuff if, if that makes sense it's also from the any uh, the NES and I never had that growing up so I just never really like checked out those games at all okay this is an anime Fairy tale. Set in the vast kingdom of Fiore, Team Nine okay. prepares to finish their fight. Engage in real These characters magic. look fierce. Powerful attacks that fuse different kinds of magic based on who's in your party. Raging Bolt. <laughs> Did you guys see what move he used? He used the Pokemon called Raging Bolt. Awesome. I love relating every single game to Pokemon. It's just so easy to do. <laughs> Available this winter. Cool. That's not a game that I'm going to enjoy um, checking out, but cool. Cool. Final Fantasy. I've never played that either. This game isn't cute at all, so I definitely won't be playing this. But let me know in the comments, you guys, which of these games in this Nintendo Direct are you most looking forward to checking out, and which ones you want to see me play for the channel. Send enemies to a separate dimension? The more enemies there are, the more you can wipe out in one shot. Okay. That's interesting. So this is like an RPG? That looks terrifying to me. I don't like these kinds of games. Fantasian. I do like that name. Something about that name is just like... <laughs> really awesome. Ooh, another another sport? Oh, basketball. Basketball is being added as a free update to the Nintendo Switch Sports. Free update. Um I forget, did I delete my Nintendo Sports from the channel? I forget. I don't think I did yet. I say it yet. Um, it might be deleted eventually, you guys. Just a heads up. But let me know if you want to check out. If you want me to um, check out the basketball. Because I have played most of the other sports already. Two versus two. Two versus two. This is cute. Nintendo Sports was a really cute game. I'm a little sad that I couldn't fully get completely into it, but my thing is, I do like Wii Sports better. Um, I feel like that was the better game. Nintendo Sports is cuter, but I think Wii Sports is generally better. What is this? It doesn't look like a game I'll be playing, but you guys might like it. Oh my god, what just happened? What is up with this creepy music? That's so creepy. Oh my god. This music is generally scaring me. So this looks like a platforming game, I think? Mio. Memories in Orbit. Okay. Oh! Disney Illusion Island. I never played that game. Mickey and friends can help in the brand new adventure, Mystery and Monarch. 
uncovered hints and evidence scattered throughout the world. Then use the data. This looks fun. You gotta you gotta um solve cases now? Later today. Ooh. Okay. So it's already out. Hello Kitty! My god, the Hello Kitty world is so cute. Open world? Is Hello Kitty ever open world? Let me know, because I've never played any Hello Kitty games. This one looks adorable though, so I might want to check it out. It comes out next year. Okay. I might want to check it out. Oh my god, Looney Tunes? I never watched, like, any Looney Tunes when I was a kid. Like, any Looney Tunes. So I don't even know the names of any of these characters besides Bugs Bunny. Because he's the main one, right? This fall. <laughs> That's all, folks. Oh, people are gonna love this. People are gonna love that. Among Us is still a pretty big game right now. Wow, you could turn invisible? So what's the point of vents? <laughs> what's the point of vents now if you're if you're gonna be a uh, a phantom? Like, being a phantom is way better than just going into a vent. Farmagia? Ten. Okay. This looks like a terrifying game as well. I'm not gonna like it. It's a farming game as well. It's a fighting game and a farming game. I don't think I've ever seen those two mixed together. Like, I mean, I guess all farming games have some fighting mechanic to them. Like, Stardew Valley, you go into the mines and fight enemies. Um, but this one looks way more intense. <laughs> the fighting in this one looks way more like actual, like, you know, with dragons and stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> It looks way more intense. November 1st. <gasps> Ooh! This is interesting. That's a game I might want to check out. Now, is this a remake? Because it looks like a remake. Donkey Kong Country Returns. Okay, I've never played any Donkey Kong games. They just never piqued my interest at all. But let me know if you want me to check out Donkey Kong, because I totally will do that. I've been getting into all the remakes. But, you know, I, I don't know any Donkey Kong lore at all. So it's going to be an entirely new adventure for me if I do it. Donkey Kong Country Returns. Rampy? <laughs> Is that the rhino's name? Rampy? So it's just like Mario. It's like a platforming game. I wonder if there's like levels like Mario. 80 levels. <laughs> they just answered my question. Um, 80 levels? Hmm. Donkey Kong Country Returns HD. Cool. Alright, what's up? What is this? The time is nigh.
Okay, this does not look like a game I would like. It has like the same style of Stardew Valley a little bit, but more 3D, I guess you could say. Dragon Quest! Okay, Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake. <laughs> what does that mean? HD 2D Remake. So it does have the same style as Stardew Valley. I've never played Dragon Quest. Um, I think people really like that game. But not a game for me, per se. HD 2D. <laughs> this is so funny. Is that like an official term? Is that like actually what you call it? If it's an it's if it's a 2D remake made for Switch that used to be like what on the DS or something? Um, I don't know when this game came out, but you call it HD 2D. Is that like actually what people call these games? HD 2D remake. November 14th. Cool. There's a lot of games releasing in November. So November is probably going to be a busy month for most of you. Experience the complete Air Eric trilogy. Oh, and they're also doing the 1 and 2. Cool. You guys can play all of the Dragon Quest. Hello to everyone watching this Nintendo Direct. I'm Yuji Hori. Did you enjoy the trailer for Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake? I'm delighted we were finally able to announce the game's release date. And we even snuck in a surprise announcement. Dragon Quest 1 and 2 will also receive the HD 2D re uh, treatment. Treatment. Chronologically, Dragon Quest 3 comes first in the Erdrick trilogy. I think players will have fun seeing how things unfold if they play 3, 1, and 2 in that order. I really hope you all enjoy experiencing the entire Erdrick. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Trilogy. Thanks for watching. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Corey. We hope you're excited to play the entire Erdrick trilogy. Now in eight. Erdrick. It's pronounced Erdrick. Let's continue. It's such a weird word. Put the fun in Funko. We got an announcement for this game earlier, right? I am not looking forward to it. I am not looking forward to this at all. Funko Fusion. When they announced it. I thought I was going to be super excited for it, but then I found out it's like a shooting game and a fighting game, and then I'm just like, no. Also, I have yet to see any Pokemon. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm not going to I'm not going to enjoy that at all. They only have people that, you know, I've never seen before in my life. But where's all the animals, you know? Where's Mickey Mouse? and friends. Where's Pikachu? The many Pikachus that they've created as a Funko. It does look interesting though, so you guys should definitely check it out. Funkos are so adorable. Ooh, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. Cool. Luigi's Mansion is another game that I've never really been interested in at all. Um, yeah, so I've never played any Luigi's Mansion games, but if you guys want me to, I might just do that. Luigi's Mansion 2. I think that was a game for the 3DS? Denpa Man. RPG for Denpa Man? <laughs> okay. Customize all sorts of outfits. Decorate your island however you'd like. And more. It looks like Animal Crossing. And you could catch them too, so it's like 
It's like Pokemon meets Animal Crossing. <laughs> Apparently. Um, I don't, I don't know. The Denpaman look kind of weird to me. So, I might not play that one. Metal Slug Attack. Okay. People might enjoy that game. The style of this game, though, is not just what I enjoy, so... Later today. Cool. Darkest Dungeon 2. It does look pretty dark. I'm scared of the dark, you guys, so I'm not gonna like that. I'm not gonna appreciate that. Launches July 15th. That is next month. Oh, Nintendo Switch Online. Nintendo Switch Online, I don't really um, play. I don't play any of those games. But this looks really cute, actually. The Zelda one. Metroid. Oh, this is his first adventure, so... Is this the first Metroid game ever made? Mature. Mature collection. Turok. Yep, this is definitely mature. Kids, don't see that. <laughs> don't get interested in those games. Perfect Dark. Cool. Oh, they look cute. Marona? Ash? Ash. <laughs> that was that was a serious like cry. Oh my god. Also, is it strange how that person's name is Ash and he looks just like Ash Ketchum? Is that a bit too weird? Oh, well, look at this brown haired character is Gary. <laughs> okay, so this is an RPG with Ash Ketchum in it. Cool. They look so adorable. Like, honestly, if this game wasn't an RPG and was just like, I don't know, an adventure game or something, I would totally play that, because they just look so cute. <laughs> and I want to know more about them. But, since it's an RPG and you fight creatures, I don't like it. Ooh, Street Fighter. Marvel vs. Capcom. Two. Okay. So it's a Marvel game. It's a Super Smash Bros. Marvel game. <laughs> that was a good song. Even though I just heard like one second of it. Kamek. Welcome to a bigger bowl of Mario Party. 
Oh my god. You guys have no idea, but literally, my mom just loves Mario Party. Mario Party Jamboree. She loves Mario Party. We play together like at least once a month in Super Mario Party, and um, she's gonna really like this one. You could play as the ninja? Oh my god, new characters. I'm all, I'm all for it. You drive carts in the, the raceway level? My god, this game looks so good. It erupts into golden Goombas? Wow, seven full boards. I think it's been a long time since there's been a Mario Party with that many boards. Motion controls. I do like motion controls in Mario Party games. That's a lot of minigames. I've never seen any of these minigames before. I wonder if they brought more minigames from older Mario Parties. There's also online, okay. The biggest Mario Party yet, they even said it. October 17th. Wow, I'll have to do a, a few episodes on that. That looks so fun. Probably the best announcement so far. I'm not gonna do many episodes on it. There will be some. I'm not gonna do, like, many. But... That definitely was the best announcement so far. For me. Because <laughs> I love Mario Party. Oh, Zelda? There's Link. It's it's in the cute little like chibi character mode. Like from uh what's it called? What's that game called? The first time they had those little tiny characters? The Awakening, right? Is that what it's called? I never played that game. I was a little interested in it since it uh, made it look cuter. In the little chibi versions. Um but I never played it, but I don't know. Let's let's see what happens with this one. Link disappeared and now Zelda's alone. Do you have to save a Link in this game? Echoes of Wisdom. That's definitely not a remake, right? <laughs> You get to play as Zelda? Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? Has that ever been a thing? You play as Zelda. I don't think that's ever been a thing. So I'm on board for this. <laughs> I am on board for that. Stolen away. Across the vast lands of Iron. Strange rifts have appeared. And okay. many people, including Link. Strange rifts. Sounds familiar. Yeah. Sounds familiar. They they've added some some Dreamlight Valley in this. By waving the tri rod at a table she found, Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an echo. An echo? Learn an echo of something, you can recreate it. This game is so adorable. Like Breath of the Wild or any of the past. Um. 
Legend of Zelda games just didn't look cute at all to me, so therefore I never wanted to even play them. Um, I never wanted to play them at all, but then the Awakening was announced, and then I'm just like, oh, that looks really cute, I should check it out, but then I just never got around to doing that. Um, but now, this one is here, and you get to play as Zelda, and I'm on board for that. <laughs> Let's hope I actually get around to it this time. Wow, you could create echoes of monsters? So choose the one you want to create based on the situation. Wisdom is key after all. That is crazy. In Hyrule without Link, you guys, I don't know any Legend of Zelda lore, so this is gonna be another whole new adventure for me, cause I hope you enjoyed this. I I don't even know. I don't know anything. All I know is that Zelda is a princess. That's all I know. <laughs> to be honest. The kingdom is called Hyrule. That's all I know. How you solve puzzles and battle enemies will change depending on the enemy. And I only know that's called Hyrule from Mario Kart. That's that's it. Experience will be different. The Legend of Zelda: Echoes of Wisdom launches September 26th. September 26th. Echoes of Wind Wisdom. Oh, and they also have a new Nintendo Switch Lite. Cool. In this new adventure. I don't play the light, now, so I wouldn't get that even if I wanted it, but back to Mr. that is awesome. It's golden colored. Thank you, Mr. That is really cool. Please look forward to the newest entry in the Legend of Zelda series. <laughs> Let's see a few more headlines. Let loose and party on. Ooh, just dance. I haven't played Just Dance in so long, you guys. 2025. 40 hot new tracks. I do like the song Yes And. That's my favorite Ariana Grande song, you guys. Just in case you guys were curious. Pop is my genre. It's all I ever sing. Just Dance Plus. Twenty twenty five. It's available October. Cool. That's a fun little party game. Lego. I've never played any Lego games. That's interesting. I don't know anything about the Lego games. But it's really cool how all of the platforms are made out of Legos. You might even come across the fearsome Thunderjaw. Thunderjaw? Not the Thunderjaw. And customize your appearance with lots of outfits. Oh, and you don't have to explore this vast wilderness alone. Team up with familiar faces from the world of Horizon in two-player local or online co-op. Lego Horizon Adventures. Horizon Adventures. Ooh, that's the first holiday game that we've heard of. Oh, Stray! I've heard of that game before. It has adorable cats, but it doesn't really seem like a game that I'd be into. No, don't fall, kitty cat. Hang on. Hang on, kitty cat. No, that's
that looks just like my cat, by the way. This is so weird. At first, when Stray came out, I'm just like, that game looks so weird. You play as a cat, and you just explore places as a cat. Like, what's what's up with that? So yeah, I, I was never into it. Also, it just looks so dark. And, you know, I prefer bright games. Why would everyone not like the cat? Stray. Oh wait, so did it never come out yet? I guess it was just an, in an introduction the last time I've heard about that, right? <laughs> I thought it was already out for some reason. A Lord of the Rings game? I never saw that movie. I was never interested in that movie. So this game has like a lot of hobbits? And it has all of the classic like life simulation um, stuff. Farming, gardening, fishing, cooking. Tales of the Shire. Okay, that's another holiday game. Investigate, interrogate, checkmate. Ace Attorney. <laughs> All right, I've heard of that game before. I haven't heard anything about it. I just heard the title. <laughs> um, but apparently, it's a it's a detective game. Investigate crime scenes. Cool. I've had my fair share of detective games, right? Pretty much Detective Pikachu is all. And Detective Peach is all I've gotten into. But, uh... Oh, that's cool. You could use the older sprites. This game looks crazy. And that main detective guy looks so angry all the time. He looks so angry. Okay, this is another anime thing. Wow. Yep, that place is on fire. This seems like a mature 17 plus game. Kids, you should not be getting into this one. I'm probably not going to get into it because I'm still. I still act like a kid. <laughs> Takumi. Takumi. So, the voice acting is in Japanese, but the words are in English? How does that work? Did they not give him voice acting that's English? Because when he like yelled something earlier, it was in Japanese. I don't know. Saga spanning generation? Of romancing Saga 2. Romancing Saga 2. I've never played any Saga before. Looks like there's a kingdom. 
Okay. You launch a surprise attack. Okay. Timeline battles? Okay, so this is like another RPG. There are so many RPGs today that we are finding out. Every decision you make will dramatically alter the course of the story. Safeguard your empire's future and protect your legacy from peril. Otherwise, the vengeful seven heroes may emerge victorious. Romancing Saga. Romancing saga. <laughs> what is this game about? <laughs> if it's called Romancing Saga. We hope you're excited to experience the full remake of Romancing Saga 2. That's almost everything for today's Nintendo Direct. Next will be our last announcement. Okay, last announcement. It better be good. Come on. Okay, it is not good. <laughs> Metroid? Yeah, it is. Yeah. No. Metroid is not something I play. I only sometimes play Samus and Zero Suit Samus and Dark Samus and Smash. That's about it. Okay. Um. Yeah, I thought it was going to be something good like Pokemon Legends EA. It's not that at all. It's not that. When are we getting our next announcement of that game? I want the next announcement so bad. But anyways, you guys who like Metroid, this game looks like it's for you. What is this? Is this a remake or something? You could roll like Samus. Cool. There's a lot of ugly looking enemies. It's got cool 3D graphics. Is that Dark Samus? No, who is that? Metroid Prime 4. Beyond. Okay. Is that a brand new game? I think so. I think it's a brand new one. Twenty twenty five. Is it gonna be released with the new switch? Cause doesn't I don't know. I've heard speculation that Pokemon Legend Z A is supposed to release on the new Switch. And that one also releases next year, so I don't know. New adventure. Cool. I know some people really like Metroid games. I'm not one of them though, because it's a shooting game. Not into it at all. Um. Okay. You guys. You guys. Um. That was fun. There were, you know, probably about 70%. No, more than that. Probably like 80% of that um, Nintendo Direct. I had no idea what the games were. <laughs> like, they just wore games that I've heard of, but I'm not going to get into at all. Or I've heard, or, or I've just never heard of them. Or they just look awful to me. And terrifying. So, that was for most of it. That's usually what always happens when I watch Nintendo Directs. It's always like, I only know like, you know, three or four games. And there's like... 20 games in the uh, in the actual direct but anyways what do we have coming up we have donkey kong country returns we got mario party i am super excited for mario party that's going to definitely be a game that i play probably like 
I, I was gonna say all the time, but it's not gonna be all the time. Um, but like a lot <laughs> with my family. Um, what else do we have? We have the Mario and Luigi game. Um, did they say that was a new edition? I'll have to go back and check, but we definitely won't be checking that one out. Brotherhood, because I have played Mario and Luigi games in the past, like on the DS or 3DS. Um, but it's been a while since they've had a new one, so that is exciting. Um, what else do we have? We have Hello Kitty, right? Hello Kitty, I might be honestly willing to check out. I've never played anything Hello Kitty before, but it looks adorable. <laughs> it looks so cute. It looks so cute. Um, so I might be willing to check that out. Uh, what else do we have? We have... Uh, Um, I'm trying to think. Did I miss something? Oh, Legend of Zelda. Obviously, it's on the screen right here. Um, Legend of Zelda. Echoes of Wisdom. I might be willing to check that one out. I know nothing of Zelda or Link. Just that Link wields a sword and Zelda is the ruler of Hyrule. That's all I know. Um, <laughs> so, I might be willing to check that out because it does have the cute little chibi versions of them and that's super adorable. So, we'll have to see though. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite part of the Nintendo Direct. And I hope to see you guys next time for another Nintendo Direct whenever they release that. Bye!